Have you ever wondered what you can do in Singapore with only a 24 hour layover? This is super cool. Stick around for this video as we find out for ourselves. This was quite the adventurous travel day that includes amazing views. I'm not sure what just happened. A mishap on public transport. <laughs> and staying in quite the unique accommodation. Let's get this travel day started. All right, just landed in Singapore. We have 24 hours to explore the city, and our time starts now. We got snow in there. Okay, how cool is this? Look at this place. It's so green. It's so green. Look at that fountain. Oh my gosh. This is super cool. So for a little reference, the Jewel is like just on the outside of the airport. And it's basically like a shopping mall, has restaurants and such. But this is kind of the centerpiece, this fountain. So we just grabbed lunch at the Jewel. We're in a food court and there's a ton of different options. We ended up going with, it says Mexican, Turkish, and delicious. Ian got a bowl, I got like a quesadilla at a place called Stuffed. And we're really hungry, so I hope I'm stuffed after this. And we're already noticing that we are definitely in a different country because prices are not quite the same as Thailand here. But it's all good. So now we are at the base of this huge waterfall. Look at this thing. If you are ever in the Singapore airport, this is definitely worth your time to come and see. It is 100% free. I should note though, if you do plan to come here, you better make sure that you have a long layover because you do have to go through customs to get to this, being that it's on the outside of the airport. So just keep in mind that if you plan to come here, make sure you have plenty of time. So Ian has left me to go find a SIM card and he took both of our phones and I'm not gonna lie, this moment always makes me a little bit nervous because I have all of our things, but no way to get in contact with them if something goes wrong. So wish us luck that it's all good. Here he comes. Did you get one? I didn't get it. Oh no. <laughs> you need a, like the original copy of your passport. So I walked half a mile, and I couldn't get a SIM card. I'm not sure what just happened. It happened so fast, but I literally lost Meg on the Singapore train line. It was like we were transferring from train to train, and I was like, we were kind of hustling, and I was going onto the train, and the doors literally closed right behind me, and Meg didn't get on. And so now she, we're separated. So hopefully what happens is she gets on the next train and just comes to the stop that we were supposed to get off at, because that's what I did. I just got off at the stop we were supposed to get off at. But I have no SIM card, so I have no way of communicating with her. Oh my gosh, it happens so fast. And then you know these subways, is like soon as the door closes, like it's closed. Like you cannot just like open it up like an elevator. All right, here's another one coming. Hopefully this, she's on this one. <laughs> she's on this one. <laughs> you are a freaking terror. <laughs> Been so fast. I just said that to the camera because I was like, oh my god. It like with the door closed and I was like, what? <laughs> I texted you and I said get off at the next station. And I knew you were I didn't know if maybe you would get on it. And so at the next station I was so worried. All I did was stick my head out. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like he didn't get out. <laughs> I'm like, I'll just go to our destination. <laughs> I mean, that was, that was what's not have that happen again. 
it seriously happened so fast. I got on the train and the doors closed and Meg was just standing right outside the door. And we were just looking at each other like this. <laughs> what do we do now? There was like nothing that we could do. It was like I was on the train and she wasn't. And we it's, were just... It, it's not a big deal because I have phone service, but he doesn't. So I'm like, I hopefully, hopefully he just gets off at the right spot. Good thing I've told you three times where we're going. I know, good thing I knew it stopped we were getting off at. Normally I don't know. I just follow Meg. It's the last time I lead, I tell you what. Oh, well, we made it. <laughs> just dropped off our luggage at our accommodation for the night, which I'll show you later. In all seriousness, in all seriousness though, the train and public transport system here in Singapore is unreal. It's super clean. It's very affordable. We paid like $10 for this card that basically gets you like unlimited transportation and you can basically get anywhere. So now, after dropping off our luggage, we're actually now headed to probably the most popular part of Singapore, which is Marina Bay. Here we go. So this is the OCBC Skyway. We are here at sunset and it is insane. You can see behind me here, that is the Marina Bay Sands Hotel. It's like a famous hotel. It has the like infinity pool on the top if you've ever seen any of those pictures. So Meg, what do you think about the bridge? I'm loving it. It was totally worth the eight bucks. Eight Singapore dollars. And so cool. What I will say that I will say the bridge is a little shaky though. So if you uh, I have a fear of heights. If you have a fear of heights, this might not be your top cup you of tea. And you can see through it sort of. Alright, done with the sky bridge, that was super cool. Now we are on to the cloud forest. The cloud forest. There's actually a lot to do in this garden. Um, you do have to buy tickets to every like individual thing, but we bought tickets to two things, the sky bridge and now this cloud forest. So let's go check it out. This is the cloud forest. See that waterfall? So basically this cloud forest is like a mountain of green inside of a huge dome. It's got like waterfalls, another like kind of sky terrace thing. That was super, super cool. Yeah, I love that. The whole like concept of the cloud forest is to educate our impact on the environment and what you can do to, you know, create less of a footprint, which I think is a really cool, cool message, as well as it's just a really cool place to go. So I would highly recommend it. Now we are hustling our way back to those tree looking things that we saw on the canopy that we walked on earlier, because there's a light show every night, actually two light shows, one starting at 7.45 and one at 8.45, and we are trying to catch the 7.45 show. This is a great almost 4th of July substitute. I feel like we're going to watch fireworks with everyone sitting on the ground and Picking up, I love it. Watch the super trees come to life as we unveil a dazzling showcase of lights and musical trees. Let the inner child in you run wild. Tonight we present the Enchanted Woods. Pick a spot, grab your cameras, and enjoy the show. was so cool. That was so fun, I loved it. That, highly recommend that. That is not just your average light show. That was awesome. The music, honestly, was my favorite part. Yeah, it was good. It was really cool. Just the scenery, though. I mean, they have the hotel in the background. It's just really fun. 
it is really fun. Highly recommend doing this. Now that the light show is done, the game plan is to go check out the Marina Bay Sands Hotel. Now I'm not sure that we're gonna be actually able to afford to do anything inside of the hotel, but I just wanna go check it out. It looks really cool. This building's super cool. Look at, look at all the way up. How cool is that? It also smells really nice in here. Like they must like pump like some sort of perfume in here. It smells fancy. We just looked into maybe going to the top of this hotel, which has like the pool and the lookout over the city. But we just found out that somebody rented out the entire top for the night. So we can't go. Isn't that crazy? Somebody rented out the entire top? I didn't even know if people could do that. This is our capsule for the night. To be honest with you, it's kind of comfy. It's kind of comfy, quite spacious. Let me show you around here <laughs> real quickly. So, what we got here is two on my side here. We have a little lap desk, which is kind of nice. We got over here a couple hangers, and then the main part here where all the controls are of the spaceship or of the capsule is over here. Meg, what do we have? We have apparently a TV. Do I hit it? No. I don't know what that means. Okay. We've got some USB cords. Reading light. Oh, there's that. Regular light. There's that. A fan. Oh, that's going down. Okay. So it's going right now, which is nice. Ambient light. So overall, so overall, quite comfortable, honestly, though, being that we've been staying in Southeast Asia, this is f still far more expensive than what we had what we have been paying. This costs us like, like, how much did it cost us? Like $40. It costs us like $40 to stay here, which is like significantly more than what we have been paying for places. We've been paying like less than 20 most places. Yeah, but anyway, cool experience and it's actually not that expensive for Singapore. Meg is gonna break something, I swear. morning that was not great it wasn't that great all right now that we're up apparently this capsule hotel comes with a free breakfast my expectations are not super high but let's go see what it's all about Rating the capsule hotel sleep. I mean, I've slept worse, but it was very equivalent to camping. Yeah, it was pretty much camping. I will admit, probably majority of the reason we slept like crap is because of me. Because I was really hot, and I am a menace when I'm hot when I sleep. I kick, I turn, I, it, I'm a mess. I mean, it was kind of loud, but it was a place to lay our heads, and we're going to leave it at that. I wanted to like it a lot because when we got in there, it was comfortable. Yeah. It was a little hot, a little noisy. Yeah, it wasn't terrible, but when I'm hot, I just, I'm the worst. Bye. All right, made it to Bali, final destination. Here we are. What a long travel day it was. But look at our place. This thing is huge. All right, I'm sure you'll see this more in other videos, but for now, that is it.